It's Doom Guy, but for old folks. Let's go. Geeks was popping. Got the Doom Slayer Classic from McFarland Toys. It's the gold label edition. It's exclusive to the McFarland Toy Shop website. You're not going to find this one in stores. Don't know if he sold out. Pre ordered him a while back. He showed up. Let's check him out. Doom. We got fire and a McFar stand. Doom guy caught in plastic. That gun looks familiar. This hand is really tight. Getting this shotgun in here is almost impossible, so be careful with it. Don't break the fingers. Surprise, surprise, he's a trash stander. Took me about 10 attempts to get him to stand there like that. And the worst part is, you see I have him kind of like he's taking a step forward. The first four or five times I tried to get him to stand up, his legs were straight. I just wanted him to stand there, and I couldn't get him to stand there, so I was like, oh, let me try and pose one of his legs. No bueno. So he's here to dish out some 90 style punishment on some demons. While he's doing that, let's take a moment to bask in all of his non-standing glory. Keith Lee. Hello, mama. Helmet looks good. Like the detail on it. Like the wash, it's not all one color. It's got some dust up on it, like you've seen a few scuffles. Not going down his body. He looks real 90s. And I don't mean 90s like our world, I mean 90s video games. Plain, not a lot of detail. Looks like a sprite figure. I get it. Veins showing. Straight paint there. Botox tight. Look at that. I need my thighs look like that. He's clean and streamlined. But you can tell by looking at him, he's stiff just like the other Doom figures. Now, I, I do like this seam that they're using on the bicep. It looks pretty good. It's easy on the eye, but it's single jointed and doesn't get a lot of range from what we saw a second ago. These rubber flaps do lift up. Now, I will say that his shoulder gun, the articulation on it, it's a lot tighter than on the other Doom Slayers. They kind of flop around a lot more, so they improved on that. We've seen this before. Oh, extra bullets in case of more demons. Let's see how much articulation he doesn't have. 360 in the head and intermittent clicks. That's odd. That's new. Get a slight tilt. But I don't know. You can really tell the difference there. If I edit it, so I'm just gonna leave this recording. You can see it goes back and forth a little bit. It does go down though. And up as well. Arms get up so high. All right, he's coming packing some wingspan there. Pardon me coming through. Wide load here. Look at my flicks. No demons need to worry about any hugs from this guy. Probably can't even scratch his own chest. Double jointed, heh, <laughs> just kidding. Single jointed elbows, don't even get 90 degrees. Put that flap up. Let's get that 360 on the arm. Let's get that, oh, no bicep swivel. Yuck, what about the elbow? Okay, you get a 360 at the elbow. You get 360 at the wrist. You do get action at the wrist though. You got repulsive blast and kiss the ring. Now, now while we were tussling around, I felt a little bit of movement up here. So what do we got? Looks like you can lean with it. Rock with it. Roll all the way around. 
He does have a crunch, but it looks more like a hunchback. I drank too much. Willie really Wayback is good with me. His abs are dirty. Take a shower, my guy. All right, we got, ooh, rotation at the top. Kind of loose though. Rotation at the waist. All kinds of rotation. Doom guy classic working hard for the money. Look at that banana split there. My milkshake brings all the demons to the yard. Okay, with the Rob Van damage, wasn't expecting this. He does bend over, but it looks painful for him. He ain't kicking nothing. Except maybe a can. A small goat. Oh, animals were hurt in the production of this video. Walk range decent. Actually, walk range good. Single Georgia knee doesn't give you anywhere 90 degrees. That's pretty sad. And there's no thigh swivel. Oh, we have a calf swivel. Or upper calf swivel or below knee swivel. Surprise there. And 360 at the foot. Yeah. Yeah, 360 at the foot there. He is definitely not a prancer. I will call him a dancer though. I wasn't expecting this toe range. Rock those ankles. Keep your heart, three stacks, keep your heart. He pops in at right about seven inches. There he is with the much more intimidating modern version of the Doom Slayer. This is straight up, I almost put that dude there and called him Ember Moon. All right, that's the Ember skin Doom Slayer over there on the left. One of the more disappointing figures this year, but I still like the flames. I'm about to render my verdict. Listen! Running in the game, Listen! All right, so I have to admit, he grew on me. Yeah, the articulation's a little bit lacking in some areas, but it exceeds in others. But just that classic Doom Slayer look at the helmet does it for me, that bright green. It takes me back to the end of my high school days, being in college when Doom first came out. While I had an inclination to bash him a little bit, I actually dig him and I think he's worth it. So I'm gonna give him the thumbs up. But it doesn't matter what I think, it matters what you think. Again, this is a McFarlane Toy Store online exclusive. So if you want him, you gotta get him from there. I'll put the link in the description. Sound off in the comments, let me know if you think he's worth it. I definitely dig him a lot more than the Ember version. All right, sound off, sound off, let me hear you. Hit that like button, subscribe, turn on notifications, share a link with another plastic doom-loving friend. Keep tuning in, channel's growing. Thanks for all the support. Till next time, geek out.